all the older women then miss the boat where do i set them this was at that time thinking of women empowerment 12 to 13 years ago i started it was not conditional not decided it just happened just happened so what i did there's a lady next door here mrs dalat rahmatullah she has a beauty parlor and one in awari called renosa she she takes all these girls gives them training and puts them into good salons so all the older girls i taught them basic english basic urdu basic maths simply on my own no books and they were enough to say how are you how do you do manage themselves little bit of grooming little bit of uh, uh, etiquettes manners and they were welcome and they went into awari tower so that was my first empowerment of women those women went from there and then one of the women started making nice things embroidery so again the idea of getting this work from them and selling it in the market so all these things came simultaneously on its own i did not force them to do but it came out on its own so those girls got settled we started getting boys and girls at certain age so this started coming into certain age level and as they started growing up we started giving them exam and started sending them into nasra because that was the only school i knew nasra afternoon shift and st pat's technical school so they were going at the same time the others the older women we were sending them into beauty salon in fact one has just opened one in defense one was sent to lahore because she was so good so they established themselves they had something to um, means they didn't first of all they had late marriages they liked the ambiance in that place they were to working it was a much different from their homes so they liked to stay there and they worked very hard and then they had a place in the society they made a place for themselves so that was one way of getting them out and putting the others in so gradually then children started coming at a certain age level so then we started milk was there biscuit was there then what they started getting sick i said what to do then a doctor came for my first program that we had independence day or whatever he said why don't you send them to me i will check the ear nose throat as soon as they come in and i'll do the eye test very good so packed all of them then we had no transport so couldn't send them in the meanwhile my sister's brother in law who worked for toyota he came to visit me one day and i just man- mentioned how do we send them to this place i want this done and one fine day he came and said we have a second hand van and we are giving it to you and that's it so we got a van so all the children then now we had this to go to tipu sultan road to ahmed general hospital run by dr khalid bamba he is another angel in my list two angels i have one is this one i'll talk to you about later so he started buzz was ear nose throat checker eye as soon as we did the eye we found one family detached retina going blind so what happened besides education my mind started going into the other side if if a child is not a healthy mind is a healthy child two things then again if they're hungry you cannot study hungry child again cannot use the mind so i fed them but how to give them healthy so healthy then i started getting them into this so my mind then got into from education also to health because i couldn't neglect the health at that time it was very important to have a healthy child and these few children that they come from that area first of all they cannot afford to go to a doctor if they go to a doctor the doctor doesn't care because they are poor they are poor so give them any medicine get rid of them third option is they cannot have enough fund to go from one place to other transportation they don't know where to go nobody to help them so i took the initiative that if i could help them i'm helping the family in return i could do that favor not a favor actually but what would would do otherwise where would the child go they would go blind so the best doctor i went to aga khan dr azam with the attitude that he, either he will refuse 
all he will do free for us and happy all free so dr azam one of the best doctors the child had got through the laser treatment that was the first treatment we did but finally all of them lost the vision but i sent them in time to ida room where they learned to do the braille the boys made little stools for me if you go upstairs i will show you the little bit i've still kept it as my own because he made his first little stool for me out of cane so even if he's gone blind i gave him enough time in this low vision that he can now earn a living for himself and stand on his own feet i look at the future 5 years in advance i give myself 5 years gold and then try to focus myself and see if i can accomplish the goals and i do manage because i don't give up i look towards it and channelize my mind towards this goal so then thinking about it he got all is it now he's fine he makes this game things he learned macrame he learned a lot of things